Hi, my name is Adam K. Grace, and I'm a physical therapist at Austin Woods. And hi, I'm Danielle Perry, physical therapist over at Hampton Woods. Today, we're going to be taking you through some of the key components of a successful transition of a patient from an acute care hospital back to home. Our example today is going to follow a 60-year-old patient who is fully independent in the community, suffers a stroke that results in hospitalization. While hospitalized, the patient will work with an interdisciplinary team full of medical professionals that will take in as much information and assessment with the goal to determine what needs to be done in order for the patient to safely transition home. Once the patient is stable enough, the first major decision needs to be made. From the hospital, the patient has a number of choices. The first one is to transition directly home without continued care. They could also transition home with home health services or home with a referral to outpatient services. The second choice would be to transition to a skilled nursing facility. There are many factors that go into choosing the right short-term rehabilitation facility for you. One of these factors may be the location of the facility. Locations close to your home, your close friends and loved ones that can come and support you through your rehabilitation stay. Another factor that goes into choosing the most appropriate short-term rehabilitation facility for you is a reputation of the interdisciplinary team that the facility has, such as the nurses, doctors, therapists, and other staff members that can help with your stay. Knowing that there's always an evaluating therapist on site that can help transition you and start your plan of care and goals towards your discharge home. When your therapy is through at your rehabilitation facility, the next important decision that you have to make is where you will be discharging to. One choice would be a long-term care facility if the patient is medically unstable and does not have the resources to safely transition home and may require 24-7 nursing care. Another place to transition would be the assisted living facility. If the patient has made progress functionally but perhaps their home is not compatible with returning home or the patient does not have available assistance from family, the assisted living can provide some assistance. Home with home health services. If the patient is able to safely return home, but is unstable enough that they require further medical assistance or continuation of their therapy services. Another option would be home with referral to outpatient services, unless the patient does not have a source to drive them to the facility, or unless the facility has their own transportation system that can pick the patient up for their therapy services. Two major factors to also consider are that during the continuum of care, the natural progression is from the acute care hospital to the skilled nursing facility to home with home health services and finally home with outpatient therapy services. While this is the natural transition, there are exceptions that can be made on a patient-by-patient -patient basis based on your own individual needs. During the continuum of care, patients always have the choice of which therapy company is going to be providing the therapy services, whether in the skilled nursing facility, home health, or outpatient clinic. One of the unique things about the Woodlands Company is the ability of the therapist to develop a relationship with each patient. I myself am the evaluating therapist at Austin Woods Skilled Nursing Home. So when patients transition from the hospital, on day one, I'm there working directly with the patient, determining what the patient's goals are, what their needs are, and then once they are medically stable enough to transition home, if they chose our home health company, they know exactly who is going to be following them to their house to complete their evaluation. Once the patient is done with home health and they are, if they are determined to be appropriate to transition back to outpatient therapy services, I myself am the therapist that is going to be seeing them in outpatient, so it's, the patient knows exactly what they're going to be getting. For more information or details on what services we can provide for you, please visit us at woodlandsllc.com.